Hi, I'm Joe Glazer, and we're at my shop in Nashville, Tennessee today, looking at a product we call Cletus, something that Scott Holyfield invented after struggling, like all of us have, many years with the problem of trying to glue and cleat a crack with your arm inside a sound hole with no idea where you really are. So let's look at what comes in the, the Cletus. Beside a nice directions and photo page, there are a few different kinds of pre-made wooden cleats. And in this case, we have rosewood, spruce, and mahogany. We actually make them in bulk, and it keeps us and you from ever having to go to the belt sander and burn your fingertips off making this little diamond-shaped cleat that we all use in exactly the same configuration. What makes this product work is that the cleat fits into a cleat holder and pretty easily it just slides right in. The cleat holder has a little magnet in it so that when you're trying to view it through the top, essentially you can see exactly where it is and you can see what direction it's facing. And so by putting the magnetic viewing film on the outside and your hand on the inside, before you lay it down and extract the, the holder, you, you know exactly where it is. The idea is that if you have, rather than worrying about where the glue is, we put a, a drop in the center and it, when you apply it, it spreads out evenly and you have just the right amount of glue and never too much and you don't end up with a bunch of glue flying around. I'm going to put this in the guitar and put the magnetic film, well actually I'll place it first and see how close I can come, making an honest attempt to get it on center. And right now I feel like it's on center and wow I'm over an inch to the treble side. I don't know if you can see that but you can see that I'm way over here and I'm thinking I'm right there. And of course that's what the problem with this process is in the first place. That's why the Cletus came into being and that's what the miracle is. So I'll go over to my crack, move the Cletus there, move it back and forth till it's exactly where I want it to be and then pushing down on the cleat and pulling on the, the, the tool, I'll extract the tool, hold the cleat in place for about 30 seconds and then pull my hand out and it'll be exactly where I want. No snail trail, no excess glue, and no redos. And that's pretty cool.